For decades, we looked at science fiction movies and dreamed of the replicator. We watched Star Trek captains order a cup of tea, and a machine would materialize it out of thin air. We thought that was pure magic, something that defied the laws of physics. But while we were watching those movies in the 1980s, a guy named Chuck Hall was in a dark laboratory in California actually inventing it. The crazy part isn't that 3D printing exists. The crazy part is that it has existed for 40 years, and you are only hearing about it now because it was effectively kept a secret by the legal system. To understand how we got here, you have to realize that for 5,000 years, humans only knew how to make things by cutting them out of blocks. It was subtractive. We chipped away stone or drilled into metal. In 1983, Chuck Hall had the opposite idea. He realized he could use ultraviolet lasers to zap a vat of liquid plastic goo. Wherever the laser hit, the goo turned into solid plastic. He did this layer by layer. From the bottom up, he printed a tiny eyewash cup. It was ugly, but it was the first object in history that was teleported from a computer file into the physical world. So, why didn't we have 3D printers in our homes in the 90s? The answer is patents. The technology was locked down by massive corporations. These machines cost $100,000 and were the size of refrigerators. They were used secretly by car companies and aerospace engineers to prototype parts. It was an exclusive club that regular people weren't allowed to join. But in 2009, the key patents finally expired. That was the Big Bang. But today, we have moved way beyond plastic toys. We are now living in the era of industrial sci-fi. Companies like SpaceX are 3D printing the engines for their rockets. By printing the engine, they can make it lighter, stronger, and in one piece, rather than welding thousands of parts together. In the medical field, we are seeing bioprinting, where printers use living cells instead of plastic to print human tissue, skin, and eventually, full organs like hearts and livers. This technology has fundamentally changed how we view matter. We used to have to ship products across oceans in shipping containers. Now, we can just email a file to the other side of the world and print it locally. We have essentially achieved teleportation. We just send the data, not the atoms. The Star Trek dream is no longer fiction. It is just a manufacturing process.